We back by popular demand. What's up, y'all? Got a story time today. Story time with JC. I'll tell you about the most lit yard I was on. It was the worst time of my life, but at the same time, it was the best. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe, trying to do right I got a mission, trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong What's up, y'all? JC, Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit that bell. Share with your loved ones. Tell somebody about it. You know what I'm saying? Support a homie. You know what I mean? I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos uh, of, you know, uh, El Chino, 6 9 my personal stories, the cartel stories. You know, they all tie into my crazy life that I've had in the past and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that made it out and I, I share my stories not to glamorize nothing but to, you know, make some people laugh and maybe learn something from me so they don't make the mistakes that I made and, you know, uh, you know, get something out of it because, you know, I'm, I'm very, very blessed today that I'm here and I'm, you know, I'm doing this and I'm, I'm very, very lucky to have you guys as my family. I get to share my stories and, you know, it's almost like the uh, uh, war chiefs used to do it back in the day, you know, the natives where they used to sit around the fire and tell the stories of their ancestors back in the day. That's how I feel, you know, I'm telling my stories, war stories, dumb stories, everything. I mean, I'm going to share everything with you guys, you know, and, and, and the ones that I don't share are going to be on my book. So you just got to wait for that when it comes out, you know, right now we're in the process of getting everything ready. Staying safe, you know, with all this crazy stuff that's going on, but, you know, um, I've been to a lot of yards in my time doing, you know, Fed time, state time, time in Mexico, and just being moved around by the uh, government throughout the United States, you know, whether it's in plane, bus, I, I've been through it all, and, you know, when I got to Florida, man, Florida, it is, that yard was lit, and when I say lit, I mean shit was going down, but... There was cell phones, um, DVD players, and I got another story on that one. That one's actually, I told my grandma to save that one for another day, but uh, DVD players, uh, spice, liquor, weed, shrooms. I mean, they had Molly, they had all times. Of, and just to tell you, this is how crazy it was because I've been around drugs my whole life. Like, I, I've been, you know, uh, uh, around selling them and all that shit but like when I first came to Arizona I didn't even know what crystal meth was had never seen it never done it hadn't made it hadn't made it up to Chicago yet and when I got to that Florida yard I didn't know what spice was if you would have told me that Dudes were like falling out and going into convulsions after smoking that shit. I would have never even took a hit off of that shit. But I did. <laughs> I did. And oh my God. It was like the worst feeling ever. I had to go to the yard. I was paranoid. I thought that people were coming. I, I couldn't keep 
massaging my my chest <laughs> it was a trip man but um nah man when i got to that yard in florida i, I gotta say uh then florida cats um Ride or die, man. There was some some good good people out there. Some good brothers from Miami, Land Kings. Uh, a lot of Haitian dudes. Good good dudes, man. Um, a lot of dudes from Pensacola. Shout out to Ty. Uh, man, like it, it was it was crazy, man. I had, I had and what I say what I say it was it was the worst and the best time of of my bid is because when I when I first got there, it was my first. Uh, first steps of transitioning into me not wanting to uh, gangbang no more, not wanting to be part of a, a, of you know, the organization no more. I didn't want to be, um, you know, there's a saying in the Latin Kings, once you're a king, you're always the king. But I just didn't want to be involved with the politics no more because I was actually at a point in my life where, you know, I was going to school. I had got my GED, something I never I would I never would have in my wildest dreams think that I could get. Because of the, you know the math, the algebra, the the uh, uh, essay that you have to write at the end, and, and all that stuff. So like, I started really believing that you know I could do something with my life. So you know I got my GD and I started spending a lot of time in the education department. I mean, I could show you a picture of the amount of diplomas that I got when I was on that yard. Uh, it was crazy. I think it was over 25 diplomas from uh, how to do taxes, um, public speaking, Toastmasters, uh, typing one, two, and three. Um, I mean, it goes on and on and on. I even, I even tried to get a job at the library. Then, while I was there, I started giving, I got certified as a personal trainer, and then I started giving the class there as a certified trainer and you know I'll never forget how you know my boy TY shout out to TY man uh, that's my dog right there he's from Florida he's from Pensacola and you know um he he's the one that pushed me a lot man he used to call me fat boy all the time he was he was ripped he was ripped had six pay he was always working out doing dips uh you know um a fucking monster and always gave me a hard time you know cuz I, I was I was still a little bit chunky, you know, I was a little, I was holding a little bit of weight and, um, you know, I worked in the kitchen, so I wasn't eating the best, <laughs> you know, you know how they give that cake in there and, uh, uh, you know, um, he pushed me and pushed me and I started doing it, you know, and, and, uh, it was a very, very, it was a good yard for me to be on because I met some really good cats. Uh, the brothers that were there were really good to me. They, they knew what's up, what time it was, how I wanted to distance myself from the politics and start doing better and and you know I wouldn't have been able to do none of that with without the 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 you know help of everybody that was there you know so you know shout out to all my Haitian dudes all my Florida cart over there man you know that, that's what's up man and you know but man my time there like you got I was in the drug program so I had to be like careful all the time but I was always up to no good even though I've always wanted to do right, I'm like a mischievous fucking kid. I'm always up to something. And I would be caught, they had like, uh, all the units were named like Apache. Um, uh, they all had names like that. I don't remember the, the, the uh, name of all the units. I was an Apache, but there was one, two, three, four, five, five units, and they had A and B side. Well, I was in the number one. That's where the drug program was at. It, on A side, it was the guys that were waiting to get into the drug, pram, drug program if somebody got kicked out or whatever. And the B side was the people that were in the drug program. I lived for a year on the A side waiting to get in to the B side. You can't do, like, if they see you uh, handshaking, like throwing up gang signs and stuff like that, you, you, you're, you're out of the program. Um, they had a lot of rules, man. They constantly drug test you, um, no tattoos. Uh, it, it was, it was very, very strict. So you had to be very careful. I seen a lot of dudes crash and burn because of, you know, how much uh, stuff was going on in that yard. There was, there was a lot of drugs, a lot of cell phones, a lot of DVDs, like I said, and there was just a lot of hustling. There was a lot of money on that yard. 
And when there's a lot of money, there's a lot of gambling, there's a lot of drugs, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, you know? And it's crazy because on that yard is where I started to, to find myself. I started to, to realize that I, uh, I was getting old. I didn't want to be in prison no more. Um, I didn't want to be gangbanging no more. I didn't, I didn't, I had, you know, friends and every, you know, in Florida, it was a little bit segregated, not too much, but there was, there was uh, a little bit of it just because, you know, the uh, Pecker Woods were there. There was a lot of them that have about four tables. Um, Tango Blast was fucking deep right there. You know, shout out to Chucky, uh, Magic, um, they're my dogs. There, there was a lot of Sudanios there, there was a lot of MS-13s, there was a lot of Bloods, Crips, uh, Land Kings, uh, Simon City Royals. You know, there was gangs from Chicago there. Um, uh, I forgot what the name of the Haitian uh, gang, but all the Haitians sat together. But it was some really good people there, man. And it was always popping. I'm talking about cheesecakes for sale. Uh, um, there were tamales, cakes. There was always something being sold. There was even when we went out to the yard, they had the candy man out there with the yards for one stamp. You got three candies. Um, it was always popping, man, and it was like a, a good place for me to get my mind right and actually come out, you know. And um, but the spice, it was crazy, man. I seen so many dudes. Like take one hit and just fall out, start shaking, and it, it was it was crazy because you know you see that and you would think that oh I'm not gonna do that you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't want to be that dude right there <laughs> like what what are you doing but you still do it and that's that is the mind <laughs> of a very sick drug addict <laughs> that is the mind of a very sick drug addict because you are trying to alter your mind to feel a different way even though you see a dude on the floor going into convulsions you know how many people they rush to the hospital how many people they air air vac like it was crazy i think the 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 one that everybody wanted was the black mamba like it was crazy i mean i'm not gonna lie for the first year that i was there I, I was fucking around like i was drinking i drank for my birthday got messed up i got messed up with gordo gordo shout out to my boy gordo from florida dog i love you man you my you my dog he put he's a puerto rican cat from florida man and uh he used to always cook mofongo for me and and you know to this day we stay in, in touch man he's he's my dude man and you know, uh, always had my back, always had my back when I told him that I was going to tell, you know, the brothers that I didn't want to, you know, be politicking no more. Um, he had my back. He didn't care if it was just, you know, he was going to ride out with me. My boy Julio, you know, uh, I had some solid ass dudes there, man. And it, it brings me smiles when I remember that yard because it was a yard that changed me forever. It made me become somebody different. And I've been to other yards where the yards actually make me turn into somebody like worse, like a monster, like a, a lot of violence, a lot of stabbings, a lot. Mexico made me, made me go a little bit more on the deep end, you know, all the drug use and the stabbings and, and all the work that I had to put in to actually like, you know, uh, prove myself. And, you know, I'll do, a, I actually have planned to do a video on that for, um, for Friday, but... You know, that yard changed me into a better person. You know, I started going to church. I started going to education. I started, you know, reading a lot. And that's when my whole life started to turn around. That's when my, my, my pain was not there no more. It was starting to change into something else. And, you know, I look at all my, my, all my prison bids as a, uh, it was a life lesson. And I learned something in, in every single one, just like they say that, Every person that comes into your life either, you know, hurts you or brings something to your life, but at the end of the day, it's still a lesson. That's the way I look at every yard I've been to and everything I've done, man, because if it wouldn't have been for that, you know, I, I wouldn't be here right now and I wouldn't be as blessed as I am and, and as hardworking as I, I, I work every day and all that stuff. So, like, you know, uh, shout outs to Florida, man. 
Them cats are crazy. I would love to live in Florida, but it's too damn humid over there. They had those little bugs in the yard in the summertime that they could like, they want to like the sweat off your face. They want to like drink it or I don't know what, but they hang like this close to your face. I forgot what they're called. They even go up your nose and your mouth sometimes, but they're always there. They never leave. They're always there. It was the most annoying thing of being there. That was the only thing. But don't don't smoke that stuff. It is bad for you. And if you don't believe me, look up what they make it out of. I didn't even know until I came home and I did some research. It has raid. Do you know what raid is? They kill cockroaches with that. And you're smoking it? Maybe that's why I'm so messed up. Don't smoke it. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Like I always say, man, don't judge nobody. You don't know what that person's been through or is going through or what's about to happen. Give somebody a hug because you never know how you can make that person's day by just give them a hug. Stay in your lane, mind your own business, do you. Don't worry about everybody else. The day that you worry about everything else, then you lost yourself. You only have one life to live, man. But if you live it right, that one life is all you need. So live it savagely. My name is JC, and I am Wrong the Strong, and this is my story, and it's a true story. Catch you guys.